The thing that I'd always been struck by with Black Mountain was this remarkable and anomalous American college that in a very short lifespan attracted some of the primary creative thinkers of its time. Between 1933 and 1957, you have an unmatched roster of intellectuals and artists at Black Mountain College, including Buckminster Fuller, Joseph and Annie Albers, Elaine and Willem de Kooning, John Cage, Merce Cunningham, Robert Rauschenberg, and Jacob Lawrence. There was probably only a little over 1,200 students that actually attended Black Mountain College. From the very beginning, it was a working farm. There was this idea of sustainability, this idea of how can this be a different type of experience than anything else. Artists learning from mathematicians, mathematicians learning from artists, the fact that it was owned and operated by the faculty. The idea that everyone participated, it still continues to reverberate into our society today. The Black Mountain College Museum and Arts Center is the only museum in the world uh, solely dedicated to the history and legacy of Black Mountain College. Most of this permanent collection was donated to the museum by either alum from the college or their families. And we have about 3,000 pieces in our collection. We also have an expanded library space. And so scholars and visitors from all over the world come and visit us and we have room for those scholars to work. As part of our collection, we have a number of fantastic photographs. One of the photographs is from this play, The Ruse of Medusa. And it really captures this moment in 1948 where you have Buckminster Fuller, you have Elaine de Kooning, you have John Cage, Morse Cunningham, all there together in this one photograph. In the back in the library, hanging right now, we have a, an amazing Ruth Asawa sculpture. She was an Asian American artist and she happened to be at the college during a time when Buckminster Fuller was there. And there's a connection between Fuller's work in math and also in design and Ruth Asawa's work. Also in our library, on the opposite of the Ruth Asawa sculpture, we have six color studies from The Interaction of Color by Joseph Albers. And they really illustrate what Albers was teaching and what he was thinking about during the college years. Where we're sitting right now is in our main gallery space. And it's about a little less than 3,000 square feet. And it's a modular space. We have movable walls. If we had a film screening or a music performance, we could accommodate up to 180 people sitting in this space. Freedom Day, it's Freedom Day. I'd say to come to the Black Mountain College Art Museum because uh, it gives a lot of history about the place and also it connects the art scene now to the history of arts and Black Mountain College. It was so improbable that this place could have happened in Western North Carolina with these personalities. It's something that could never have happened in any other place in any other time. So if you're interested in learning about what was the beating heart behind Black Mountain College, please come and visit us. There is nothing else like this in the world. The Black Mountain College Museum and Arts Center is at 120 College Street in Asheville, and they're open every day from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., except Tuesdays and Sundays. For more information, give them a call at 828-350-8484 or go online to blackmountaincollege.org.